In this experiment, we'll be developing a solubility curve for potassium nitrate. The curve will measure solubility against temperature. To begin with, we measure out some potassium nitrate on an analytical balance, and of course, we'll write this in our notebooks. The lab will suggest what weight of potassium nitrate to use. After we've recorded that in our notebooks, we'll carefully measure out 5 milliliters of deionized water. And we'll dissolve our potassium nitrite, nitrate, excuse me, in our water. Notice the potassium nitrate isn't dissolving all the way. That's because this water is too cool for all of that potassium nitrate to dissolve. But we'll start heating our solution in a water bath. Take a look at the potassium nitrate. Take a look at what happens. As the water gets hot enough, our potassium nitrate all goes into solution. We heat it a little further, and all the potassium nitrate has now gone into solution. Now we take our solution and put it into a cool water bath. This will start to cool the water back down. We'll be using the temperature probe from our pH meters to monitor the temperature as it falls. We'll gently stir our solution and keep an eye on it to watch for precipitate. When the solution gets cool enough, the potassium nitrate will reach supersaturation and it will start to precipitate. You'll need to watch closely because it happens awfully fast. See those tiny flecks? And in just a few seconds, we start to get a blizzard of precipitate. At that exact moment, read the temperature. That is your saturation temperature. Let's take one more look at that precipitation. Look how quickly it forms. In this experiment, you'll need to pay close attention to catch that exact moment that you're looking for.